Hi all, let's have a look at the round 7 game of the TCEC. So this is the top chess engine competition really in the world. It's in my book, it's a really amazing competition which we've had many videos in the past for. Uh, so Leela is playing against Wasp 3.2 in this game. Uh, remember Leela has to stick with the version 10.160 um, until the next if leader promotes, then there, then there, a change is permissible. But until then, 10.160 uh, is the version. Uh, so leader playing white. The book moves given to both is the very solid Slav defense. And here's the end of the book. Now leader plays knight f3, knight f6, and exchanges on d5, knight c3, e6. e6 is a little unusual. More usual is the very boringly <laughs> symmetrical variation here which is is like world championship material world chess championship material so e6 already a bit of excitement you see the bishop's been hemmed in bishop g5 and now even more excitement queen b6 this is out of books really this is really rare move in chess plays live book offering the possibility of white inflicting structural damage uh usually this you know for example knight bd7 is more solid for black this kind of position but this is a very interesting move to, to Wasp's uh, credit. It's a great dynamic play. Uh, so Lila does take, now G takes is played on Queen takes B2. I believe Queen C1 is one of the stronger moves. There's a tactical target on C8 here. So for example, this variation, bang, Knight takes D5 hitting C8. And White should end up with a nice advantage here in this sort of position. So uh, we have G takes. Rook b1 now protecting the pawn knight c6, e3, rook g8. So black is really playing to the strengths of a brute force. You know, active piece play, active rooks. g3 is played. Uh, bishop d7, bishop g2, f5. So black has that bishop pair and is clamping down on white's e4 break, potential break. Uh, rook c8 here, queen d2, knight a5. Rook fc1, queen goes back to d8 here. Bishop f1, dissuading knight c4 potentially. We have f6. On knight c4, possibly white can take care. And this position, the two knights against the two bishops, might actually be, might actually be quite nice for white. Uh, we have actually, though, f6, keeping any knights out of e5. And maybe the king can use f7 here. Now, in fact, does use f7. Leela is manoeuvring around the f4 square, knowing that e5 is going to be difficult to play. So that f4 square is a nice blockade square in front of the double pawns, and both knights head to reinforce f4. An exchange of rooks here, and now using that blockade square, Nimzovich's favourite place in front of double pawns. Hitting the queen, queen moves. Queen h5, uh, we have here now knight d2, the knight manoeuvres to e4. Uh, so now queen h4, and there might be a concern about knight e5 exploiting the pin. Knight g5 addresses that in advance. For example, a6, knight e5 might be interesting to consider. Here takes is, is very nice for white. Uh, so this position, uh, rook c8 say, this position um, is getting a little bit interesting for white, potentially, because actually things like bishop takes a6 a technicality but important one there's a bit of pressure anyway but uh, knight g5 extinguishes any any pin uh, king g2 rook c8 another pair of rooks come off check and here knight goes back bishop d1 covers covers uh, the knight and bishop cover the entry points of the queen here on queen c4 I believe bishop b3 is possible the knights are holding each other so uh, we have bishop d1 and h3, king g1, and some manoeuvring here, some patient manoeuvring. But now an interesting decision to undouble black's pawn. Sometimes when you undouble the opponent's pawns, you create more readily exploitable weaknesses. Uh, so that might be the case here. e6 is exposed now uh, a bit more. But queen c2 keeps white's pieces at bay, hitting d3. Queen g3. King h8 now, 
uh, here actually yeah there's a threat of h4 so for example this h4 that's got to be careful about <laughs> bishop d1 check for example uh, so king h8 is sufficient knight h5 and there might be a concern now the knight's covering an escape square of the king there might be concern about queen b8 check here so the queen goes back to the fens at the first rank um in particular here although there's queen c8 by the way there's queen a7 and this is slightly annoying uh for black uh, it's it's a bit tricky this position yeah uh so it was kind of rejected Th this this is uh in my notes so we have queen c8 it's not because it was like terminal queen c8 uh bishop d1 queen f8 queen c7 queen d8 queen a7 like the queen is a little bit in trouble on a7 for, potentially we have seen knight d6 here uh, on uh, I'll give you a uh, white might be threatening knight f4 if b5 for example knight hf4 hitting e6 might be a little unpleasant here for black uh, for example yeah this is a big advantage for white so we have knight d6 which changes the picture here uh, now this knight was used not this one if this one's used here knight b5 is very interesting because after uh, hitting the queen and after say queen b7 this is like a repetition and if ever white tries to break the repetition here then there's queen b8 with the knight a tactical liability so for example here there's bishop b5 also just trapping the queen the queen even hasn't got c8 it's a nasty trap possibility exists there so we have this knight being used not this one uh now knight b5 knight d6 uh now f5 is played defending e6 bishop f3 queen b8 uh, so black is still very solid though uh in this position and uh here a simplification now leaders with the two knights against the bishop pair uh we have this bishop h4 the king goes to h2 now taking on f2 you might think we should at least look at it queen e2 for example here is a disaster threatening mate and the bishop uh, but tactically black could play bishop e8 uh, hitting h5 of that knight's pinned now this position here uh should be um okay for white so yeah that wasn't very tempting for black to sort of take that pawn so instead queen d8 we have king g2 protecting the pawn officially now queen b8 queen comes back so there might be a concern here about queen g4 hitting h4 and threatening mate that's addressed in advance with queen f8 queen pops back over the queen side check knight comes back queen b8 queen e2 bishop f6 is played black doesn't really want to give up the bishop pack anytime that happens white's got a really nice position here this is a really kind of bad bishop so black must try and keep for the moment the bishop pair queen d1 queen g8 b3 dissolving a bit of the queen side but uh let's see queen e2 bishop g5 queen a6 queen b8 is played here yeah the temptation of double pawns is not enough to lose the bishop pair uh, queen a3 and now we have this check king h1 bishop h4 queen b2 king e7 knight g2 hitting the bishop bishop moves check king e8 this bit of maneuvering here is going on uh interesting point here queen a1 queen c2 very interesting point with king g2 offering b3 so you might wonder this is a mystery murder mystery on move 71 you're enthralled so if queen takes b3 this didn't happen bishop d8 was played but if queen takes b3 there this check is fascinating how it's actually good for white here let's you know look at king e7 first there's queen g8 for example here this position where black loses the bishop pair is very nice for white big advantage and also on bishop d8 as an alternative then this position fascinatingly 
the knights are doing a good job against the bishop pair with the king there. Uh, for example, here there's a tactical knight f6. Uh, and here, for example, knight g8 check. And the key move here would be queen b8 to go to e5. So this gets really quite dangerous uh, for black. So this continuation check queen e5 and now there's a big threat of taking on d5 so the knights actually win against the bishops here it seems in this uh, particular scenario there's a few spike checks here but after king h2 say bishop c8 uh, then there's big trouble after ch check and knight c3 big advantage to white so very interesting lines here offering this pawn sacrifice uh, but it's this poison pawn, but it's not taken, unfortunately, for Leela. Bishop d8. We have knight g h5. And again, this poison pawn is taken, but for the similar reasons, queen a8 is dangerous with ideas of knight f6. So it's avoided. Uh, and now we have king g3. Bishop c7, pinning the f4 knight, queen a7, queen c1. King goes back, bishop b5, knight goes back, uh, h6, h4, queen c6, h5, queen d7. With the idea of bishop takes f4 now, which will get rid of the queens, and that might actually be good for black. So knight g6 avoids that. We have uh, this, queen d8, check, and some maneuvering now. Yeah, this is quite an involved game, to say the least. Quite an involved game. Quite a, uh, it's quite a struggle. Lena's having quite a struggle against this bishop pair. It's a very difficult position to play with white with the two knights against the two bishops in this particular configuration. Uh, here, uh, you might think bishop takes to win a pawn, but there's check and b4 can be uh, taken, for example, at a legend like this with an even position. It's nothing to write home about for black. We see that every time black loses the dark square bishop, it's not that great for black in, in a lot of these scenarios, uh, losing that bishop pair. So uh, black still got the bishop pair. And uh, we're approaching move 100 now. <laughs> move 100, queen a8. So it's a bit of uh, an epic struggle against wasp uh, the queens finally come off here now there's one downside to white's position this pawn could be vulnerable to the bishop and that one downside here unfortunately at a move 106 i think it was in quite a bit of time pressure <clears throat> leela what would you play with here with white basically b3 is a problem you know bishop d3 bishop c2 leela has to play f3 uh, to survive this idea so for example bishop d3 taking on e4 king f4 is just in time you know salvaging the position you know for example check and then the king can come over and rescue the situation there's no entry point there uh, also if e takes uh, taking this position is uh, is okay uh, on um okay so f3 was really critical to play mm. uh, on yeah so we've seen we've seen that's why that's critical to play so f4 unfortunately was played which leaves this big big idea now bishop d4 on the board that leader's position is disconnected here it's bishop c2 is a massive issue now f5 was played Bishop c2, f takes e6, and black's got a very dangerous pass pawn now. Uh, knight f5. Now, perhaps Leela was thinking to take this pawn and then there'll be trouble for black, but we have a very strong move, bishop d1 check, and now king f8, off the check, king e8, knight takes h6. Black actually has a winning position here with two different moves. Uh, the strongest move of the two was was played. Bishop takes h5. Uh, it turns out here, because this really slows down the e pawn, this bishop sack. Uh, before we go into that, it turns out here, it seems b3 might also be winning in this line. Taking here is uh, 
also this ending you see is <coughs> technically very troublesome with that B pawn as an example white could actually get into the Zugzwang and after bishop c4 be losing you know because this is just losing so th it does seem as though on on initial inspection b3 might have been winning as well but this is even stronger so Lila has blundered now allowing this continuation uh, if knight f5 instead of taking this pawn is just uh, it's too late basically because the bishop holds you know the queening square on h5 so this position just take care and then it's a bit hopeless after that so king takes h5 was played and uh, b3 yeah it's 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 a winning pass pawn leaders actually lost to a pass pawn here unfortunately um, and the evaluation was plus 6.5 now for both sides for more than four moves so it was kind of resigned for Leela here okay in this final position unfortunately for Leela although King e6 seems like yeah da very dangerous for black because of knight d6 um, Queen f1 uh, King e6 black doesn't play this so let me checkmate but unfortunately there's a winning move for, here for black I wonder if you can spot it if I give you five seconds to pause the video black to plan win here because there's also knight g7 check as well to factor in by the way okay yeah the pin the pin is really important uh, so if white unpins with this then queen h8 check it's really it's really annoying <laughs> queen h8 check um, if king there then check and then king d7 wins for example here check and then that pawn is removed uh, this is just really annoying stuff um, and by the way knight g7 check black would sacrifice the queen to actually have a winning king and pawn ending with the opposition carried through here to win that pawn then get a winning pawn here and then the opposition again making the pawn crash through so unfortunately uh yeah queen h3 is really powerful here uh that's absolutely winning uh on um yeah so king f6 uh we've looked at king f6 so here we just take on f5 wasp just takes on f5 so it's, it's pretty hopeless here um, I think there's nothing much to say here after Queen H3 King F6 King D6 King takes it's just taking on F5 so yep wasn't played out uh, so a bit sad for Leela fans like me and everyone supporting the Leela project this happened but that's what it happens it's a tough tournament it was, it was always going to be a tough tournament so I'm, I'm actually really happy about Lila's overall score. It's the only loss so far in the tournament. It's something to learn from in, in time pressure sometimes. Okay, a tactical slip up there in this game. Uh, this this B pawn uh, proved decisive. But um, Lila's improving every day. So that's the difference. That's the big difference between the Lila project and other engines. The self-improvement. I mean, already, on if you look at you know the, the community pages, Tests are showing that you know the new evolved Leela is is doing really really well, uh, stepping up in strength. So, but at the moment we're stuck with ten one six one for this particular section of the event until there's a promotion, in which case we'll be allowed to update the Leela ID. But it's very important to try and get one of the two top spots. So there's a fierce contention at the moment after this round between Wasp. Um, uh, Daix um, and, and Leela so the top three at the moment in terms of score but there's a lot of games to go so stay tuned comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much